Warning, today's video contains many spoilers for the newest episode of Ahsoka. If you haven't seen the latest episode yet, please go watch it before watching this video. With all that said, please enjoy today's video. Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little showcase of some of the characters that were in the latest episode of Ahsoka. I'll be showing you guys the customs that I put together for them, and just kind of my thoughts on the episode as well. So with all that said, let's get into today's video. So the first minifigure up isn't really a spoiler character. Here we have Sabine, and this is kind of when she was off in the desert looking for Ezra. She was riding on that, uh, not really even sure what to call it, that big animal thing. And she had that little uh, side cape on her shoulder. And I just wanted to replicate that in Lego. So what I did was I took one of these um, kind of thinner brown capes. This is from the Mandalorian Battle Pack from... 2020 i believe and just put that there on the side so normally it would be on the back but i just moved it over so it would be covering one of her arms and i think that looks really nice on there uh, i really like the way that came out nothing really crazy with this minifigure you can see that i did add the arm printing on one of my previous videos uh that's from the updated beskar armor of the mandalorian so not too much going on with this minifigure so let's get on to the next one so the next figure we have here is one of grand admiral thrawn stormtroopers from the star destroyer and from one of the shots you could see a lot of them had like warrior paint and stuff all over their armor a lot of dark red and stuff i didn't really know how to replicate that in lego like while showing it is a stormtrooper so i went with one of the more like sand uh battle worn troopers so what i did here was i took the legs and the helmet from one of the older sand troopers uh, you can see the rogue one style stormtrooper helmet right there and i just took one of these torsos i think it's from a uh stormtrooper battle pack um not really sure which one that's from but it is a stormtrooper uh torso i believe so i think that just looks really nice you have like some blaster bolts some scratches and stuff on there and on the back you can see some more damage to the armor and I really like the helmet that I chose to really make it look old because they were trapped on that planet for a very long time. And I just think that looks really nice. And here we have probably the most anticipated character in all of the Ahsoka show, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, I did make a video about making this exact minifigure on my channel, so I won't get too far into like the details and stuff. All I did was I took the Grand Admiral Thrawn minifigure we got in the Phantom 2, and I put some dual molded legs on there with black on the bottom and white on the top and i just took some of these gold epaulette pieces and i just put that on top of the neck see how that would go on right there so nothing really crazy with this minifigure i do have to say i loved the actor's performance for the character i don't know his name but i was kind of worried on how well the character would be portrayed in this show but man he really knocked it out of the park it really felt and sounded like thrawn like, it was just incredible. Like, 10 out of 10, I loved it. And here's the final minifigure for this um, video. Here is the version of Ezra Bridger from the end of the episode. And I really like the way this figure came out. I wasn't really sure how I was going to replicate uh, his appearance in the Lego, but I think I did a pretty good job. So starting down here with the legs, these are just basic uh, dark red legs. I couldn't really find anything in my collection that had really good printing, but if you have something better, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys would have to say to like upgrade this custom. But for this torso right here, I believe it is from a Prince of Persia minifigure. Uh, I just really like the way it had like the layers on the clothing and it has some patches and stuff on the back to really make it look worn and stuff because he's been trapped on that planet for a long time, just like that Stormtrooper. And for the arms, I used some dark red arms and for this head and the hands these are from the newest cassian andor minifigure from the cassian andor set that came out last summer and i think it looks all right i couldn't really find anything in my collection that matched his skin tone and had a black beard this one does have a brown beard and i think it looks okay you can see he does have that alternate face on the back but i would have preferred to have something with a black beard and for the hair, I just used one of these longer hair pieces. These were actually used for the original Ezra Bridger from Rebels, the original sets. 
but they've come in a lot of places, so this is not a hard hair piece to find. And there you have it. That is how you can build a few of the minifigures that appeared in episode 6 of Ahsoka. I really love this week's episode. I think I liked last week's episode just a little bit more, mostly because of all those callbacks and stuff to the Clone Wars. But this episode was amazing too. The build up like to Thrawn and his introduction, that was just incredible. As well as seeing Ezra Bridger again for the first time in live action as well. I just really liked the episode a lot. A lot of fun. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. It was a lot of fun. And I cannot wait for next week's episode. With all that being said, Hope you guys liked today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Also, be sure to check out my live stream this Friday, the 22nd, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be building the Phantom 2, which comes with this Grand Admiral Thrawn minifigure. That's going to be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on the last live stream where I built the Ahsoka set behind me. Or behind the minifigures, I should say. But yeah, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'd love to see you, all of you guys there. And please join my Discord if you haven't already. It's completely free. And that link will be on my homepage. And with all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.